Hey guys, what is up? I am new to the uh, tutorial videos, but I'm light on content and I make sure I put one video out a week, so I thought I would try this this week. Now, today we're gonna be explaining how to hook up an external hard drive to a regular old iPad. Not a pro, not a pro, not a pro. This is my iPad, it's a sixth generation. I just updated it to iOS 13. That's the first thing you're gonna need to do is update your iPad to iOS 13 or iPad OS as it's called now. I do all these videos, all my vlogs right on my iPad, which is cool and it's easy, it's portable, it's nice, but this thing only has 128 gigs. I'm always running out of room, always looking for storage solutions, so I picked this up. It's a two terabyte uh, Seagate hard drive. The problem is your regular old iPad with the lightning connector, okay, that's your lightning connector, it's not USB-C, it doesn't supply enough power to this thing to make it work properly. So you have to do a workaround. Here's what you need. First of all, you need your external storage, your portable hard drive. Next, oh, I got it all in a little box here. Isn't it cute? Everything just fits in there. Oh, it's so sweet. All right. So you need your uh, external hard drive. You're gonna need this. This was an official Apple dongle thingy. So you got lightning on one end. Then on this end, you can convert your lightning to a regular USB. Come on. You can convert your lightning to a regular USB input. There we go. All right. This over here supplies power to this if you need that. Now, in my case, supplying power to this and to the hard drive still wasn't enough. We need more power. Ah, ah, ah. More power! All right, more power. So, here is the secret. You need a USB hub. USB on one side and a splitter. But that's not enough. This is not enough to do it. You need to add more power. You need to add more power. So you gotta have a powered USB hub, all right? So here's how you do this. You're gonna take your USB hub, you're gonna plug it in here, and then you're gonna plug it into the wall. Now luckily for me, I have an outlet right over here. Where'd my light go? Oh well. So now this is plugged in and powered. You can't tell, there's no light on here, but it's, it's powered. Next, you're going to plug your USB hub into your little dongle thingy, okay? Boom. Oops, you never get it right the first try. Boom. Now you plug this, which is connected to this, into your iPad. USB hub plugged into the wall over here. Dongle plugged into the iPad. <laughs> dongle connected to the USB hub. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're almost done. Next, you want to connect your USB cable to your hard drive, okay? See? And then plug this into your USB hub. And now you should, and when I say should, I can't say for certain because everybody's iPad model is different. You should have enough. So let's bring the camera down here on the iPad. Oh, there I am. Hi. So now you're gonna be wondering, how do I get to what I need on here? I, you gotta go for files. So I always swipe down and just search for apps. It's way easier. So search for files. There's my app of files. And you'll see over here your locations. Up top it says iCloud Drive, then it says on my iPad, Google Drive, Backup Plus. So I hit Backup Plus, I open some subfolders, there's registration, I don't know why I kept that, but I did. And then I've uploaded my vlogs into here and you can see they're all in here, okay? Gigs and gigs of video, years of archive data. Now, not stored on here, on my iPad, but stored on here. Okay, so quick recap. You need a powered USB hub. This is for an old iPad, not an iPad Pro. Plug that USB hub into the wall. I got my powered USB hub on Amazon, it's about 20 bucks. 
you need an external hard drive. Plug the external hard drive into your USB hub. Okay? Now those are connected. Now you gotta connect all this to your iPad. So plug your external USB hub into your iPad converter, which converts your lightning cable into USB. Now plug this into your iPad. Then go to the Files app on your iPad and it should show up there, okay? If you've already got files open, you might need to close that app and get it back open. Hopefully that helped you out. If you have got a lot of stuff on your iPad that you want moved over, movies, TV shows, maybe you do videos like I do, you're gonna need that extra storage. Because I bought this iPad without 128 gigs. Oh, that's plenty, nah. After a year, year and a half of vlogging, not even close. Um, that's it, my first tutorial. Like, subscribe, comments below. Don't bother. A, a like might be kinda nice. All right, till next time, goodbye everybody.